Well, good morning. Happy, happy Tuesday. I um, wasn't on yesterday. The it was kind of glitchy, so I just said, you know what? I am going to hone in and get some work done and just stay focused. Have a couple tips for you. So I um, am, here I am, per usual, at Orange Theory. <laughs> Just got done. Hi, Mandy Bear. Mandy Bear completely killed it today. Amanda met me at Orange Theory today, and she rocked it. She was actually the first one in the class to actually get her, um, to get all her splat points, as they call them. And they're called splat points because they're, they're, it's about um, getting your after-calorie burn and so that you're burning fat even after you leave the class. You're welcome. I'm so glad that you came. I knew it would be right up your alley, girlfriend. So, anywho, with that said, um, Amanda and I, we were actually having a conversation about my heart rate monitor here in class. And, hi, Jordy Bear. And um, it's it's been kind of funny, okay? Like, I'm looking at it going, I, th I think I should be, ha you know, I think I should be burning more than that. Or I think my heart rate should be higher than that. Or I think I have more splat points than that. But here, here's the thing, and I thought about it for a second because I thought, you know what, I need to do a Facebook on this because there are Facebook Live on this because there are so many times in our life that we assume that we are actually putting in a, a certain amount of work or a certain amount of effort or a certain amount of um, you know due diligence, but then when we actually sit down and we perhaps write down. Here's a tip for you, you know, if you write your day down on exactly where you're spending your time and, and all of that, then you're going to have those aha moments. So for example, this heart rate monitor, I could look at that and say, I'm in better shape than that. It's reading it incorrectly. I am just, yeah, but you know, but I'm not. I'm I'm basically looking at it as, you know what, I need to work a little bit harder and I guess I'm not as in good a shape as I thought I was. But that's okay. But I did also bring it to the attention, you know, to the, the people at the desk and just said, hey, you know what, next time let's do a, a strap around my chest to see if maybe, maybe there is something that is going on with my monitor. However, I am not going to assume that I am actually in better shape than I, than I am. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So I can look at it on both sides, and w which I, I am. Um, so it, here's the thing. A lot of times we are delusional and let's say, let's talk about eating. A lot of times we are delusional in, um, for example, I would, I would get a lot of my clients when I was, um, do it, excuse me, I just had my, my, um, banana and they would say, well, I know that I'm eating the right things and I know that I'm not eating a whole lot. But then when, when I said, okay, let's have you do some food journaling and actually measure and weigh and all of that, then they were like, oh my gosh, I thought a serving was, oh my God. And then I looked on the package and I was actually eating 10 servings. So a lot of times, you know, people are delusional and in what they're actually doing until they really actually see the proof of it. So, and that goes with anything, just like myself with my business. I had a quite a big aha moment not that long ago where I was like, I thought that I was putting in a certain amount of effort, time, um, whatever, whatever it is. Um, but then once I really, really put my, you know, put the pen to paper and really documented what it was that I was doing during my day. I was like, oh yeah, time to restructure, time to, you know, build more of a foundation. Yes, exactly. You know, and okay, here's Angela saying, you know, snacking a lot of times, you guys, I'm going to, I'm, this is my, this is my thing. You got emotional eating. I'm telling you, everything comes down to the emotional eating, but I could talk about that all day long. Like seriously, all day long. But here's my challenge for you guys today. Here's a tip. This is the tip I wanted to give you. I want you to think about something that you are not seeing results with, maybe at all, or maybe not as quick or 
you're just not really sure what the heck is going on. Like, why am I not, why, like for me, why, you know, I've been coming to Orange Theory. Here's my example. I've been coming to Orange Theory regularly. And by this time, I know how fast the body adapts. So it is really strange that my heart rate is, that things are just kind of not quite matching up. So I'm actually taking the next step with them. And so tomorrow when I come in, I'm going to have them monitor me in a different way. But a lot of times people are, um, let's talk about, um, let's say if you want to lose two pounds, let's just say, let's use weight because that's just so easy, okay? It's easy to talk about and everybody wants to talk about it, okay? Did you guys know that 3,500 calories is one pound? Did you know that? So if you want to lose one pound, you have to either, you have to eat less, you know, it's more, it's less input and more output. So if you are wondering why you have the, the scale is not budging, budging, then I encourage you to do this, that today, starting today, you write down what you're eating, how much you're eating, what time you're eating. And I encourage you to look on the back of the label. What do I, I always have something in my car here in case for emergency things. I got some of these. These aren't that good, by the way, just an FYI. And these are in here just in case I get, usually I have nuts, but I happen to grab these kale crisps just because I'm always wanting to try new things just to see. Okay. So let's look at this label here. One ounce, okay? So you get yourself a scale, okay? You guys, get yourself a scale. It's so important. It's a little tiny scale. You can get one on Amazon. 100 calories, and there are, so if you look, it's probably backwards to you guys, but one ounce, 100 calories, carbohydrates are 18. The first thing you want to look for on a label, I always get close when I'm serious about something. <laughs> sugars. You always want to make sure you look at the sugar content. Here's the bottom line though. If it comes in a package, you guys, we really shouldn't even be eating the shit. All right. That just is what it is. But how many of us, you know, I, I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is. Trust me. I get it. You know, I always tell you guys, what was it? Jillian Michaels, the rule, the, if it didn't come from the ground or have a mother, don't eat it. But let's get back on point. I want you to journal today. Let's talk about food first. So if, you, if you're having a hard time seeing that scale budge, journal your food and do it for a couple of days. I'm telling you, you're, gonna, you're going to find that you were probably a little bit delusional on how much you're consuming. If you are finding that you're like, where did the time go? What, why have I not gotten to that task? Well, then I highly encourage you to document what you're doing, how much time you spent on it, or even set timers for yourself. And you know what I just found out? I have an amazing business coach right now. Her name is Jen Casey. Hi, Jen, if you're watching. But she taught me this awesome trick for Facebook so that I don't get lost in the Facebook black hole of scrolling. It's called um, the Facebook Eradicator. So what it, what it does is it gets rid of my Facebook news feed on my laptop and gives me just a positive quote. So I get all my notifications, but I don't see any of the news feed whatsoever. So that for me was a huge distractor and time sucker, time waster. Okay. So this is the bottom line after all my jibber jabbering, cause I know I tend to do this kind of thing. I want you to pick one thing that you're really frustrated about and I want you to write it out and figure it out. Find this, this is going to help you find those loopholes that are holding you back that you are not aware of. So in other words, I'm just helping you create awareness and I'm helping you just tighten it up. Okay. That is going to help you. 10, I swear to God, it is going to help you immensely, I promise. And when you guys do me a favor, when you do this, will you please message me and tell me when you had your aha moment, like, oh my God, here I thought that I was only eating 1,200 calories a day, and then I started journaling, Kelly, oh my God, I was actually eating 2,000, you know what I mean? So trust me, you're going you're gonna to find something. All right. I am now cooled down, recovered. I ate my banana. 
I need to get home. My kiddo has early release. Michelle, I am going to message you. Um, there's something coming up in October I want to see if you want to go to. Actually, you might be going to it. But anywho, um, all right, you guys, enjoy your day. And I look forward to hearing from you. Oh, what else did I want to tell you guys? I know there is something that I wanted to tell you. Oh, my challenge. Yes. My challenge that's going to start October the 3rd. Hi, Jimmy. Um, go to kellydunlaplifestyle.com and you can get the information to request to be added to the community of the five day challenge that I'm going to do. It's like a detox challenge. Um, and we're going to be detoxing a lot of stuff out of our lifestyle. Okay. It'll be fun. Hi, Dawn. So, okay. I got to go. Enjoy your day. Pick one thing today. Journal about it. Meaning like, you know, write out either what you're eating, what you're doing, where your time is going. And I promise you, you're going to find where your loophole is. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I will talk to you soon. Bye.